This problem, because it's talking about adding water, that's a good hint that it's a dilution. Another good hint is that we're given two pHs. Um, for dilution problems, I use M1V1, M2V2. Realize the M's are molarities. I can't just plug pH in for molarity. They're not the same thing. Also, for this formula to work, um, if you're diluting a base, which we are because our pHs are above 7, we're diluting a ba base, both of our molarities have to be hydroxide. They can't just be hydrogen. So for instance, when I do 10 to the negative 10.2, 10 to the negative pH, that gets me my H plus molarity. I don't want my H plus molarity, I want my hydroxide. So from here, you can plug into the formula where hydrogen times hydroxide equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. I personally would rather just start by doing 14 minus. That gets me my pOH. Then when I do 10 to the negative pOH, I have my OH molarity, which I can use as a molarity in this problem. So 10 to the negative 3.8 will be my M1, 1.58 times 10 to the negative 4. So I had 50 mils of the solution that gave me that number. That'll be my first volume. My second volume is what I'm looking for, so I just need to plug in the other molarity, which also is going to come from the pH, but I'm going to approach it the same way. I'm going to say 14 minus that pH to get me my pOH. Therefore, when I do 10 to the negative pOH, I have my OH molarity, which I'm allowed to use in this formula since we're using a base. Multiply, then divide, and that will get me V2. Seventy-nine point two four milliliters. But the question asks for how much water was added. Realize I started with fifty milliliters of something. Ten point two. I'm ending. V2 represents the end. I am ending with seventy-nine milliliters. And the reason I'm ending there is because I added water. I don't want to know where I ended. I want to know how much water I added. So I subtract out what I started with. And that will tell me how much water I added. 